Hello there, good evening to you all and a massive welcome to the channel. The addiction tonight is the level 70 dragon flight speed set update guide as requested by viewers. So you know the score, grab that coffee, get comfy and let's get started. This is our updated guide on the new and improved 10.2 level 70 speed set that came with the new Emerald Dream expansion. Which has basically killed the older sets, blowing them clean out the race, as the new and improved version has the extreme potential to hit max cap movement speed at 250%. And is a hell of a lot easier to obtain, this will be a short breakdown on what I am currently using, and how to improve your sets. To make things slightly easier and faster, I will break this guide down into each individual gear slot, timestamps can be found below to each section. First, we start off with the most important item in any speed set and that is the Heart of Azeroth, from the opening quest line in the BFA expansion, and is very easy to obtain. This next part is rather important and regards the head, shoulders, and chest. And is where a lot of players who are not aware make their first mistake with their speed set and wonder why they get low speed rates, allow me to explain. As you can see on screen, please stop using the mythic versions of the head, chest and shoulders. A lot of players may think that obtaining the mythic versions will give the best stats return on their sets which I am sorry to say is just wrong. Blizzard a few months back decided to help players who farm by changing up certain aspects of the speed set, and making them somewhat easier to obtain. But currently the bog standard normal blue versions now have higher item levels than the mythic versions therefore giving you better stats overall, and is made easier to get as you can farm for these 10 times per hour till you get them. Not once per day like with the mythic versions as you will see in the small demonstration coming up shortly. Now this is where the new speed set becomes insane, and instead of me just talking about it and showing you pictures, I will demonstrate and show you the speed increase which each item with a small breakdown and how to improve them so you can see for yourself. Quickly showing the difference in speed increase using the normal blue head chest and shoulder items over their mythic versions. Just look at how much speed you can gain from doing this. Using the mythic versions gives me 166.6% speed increase. But when I replace them with the normal versions that boosts the set up to 180.3% speed increase due to the changes, again made easier to obtain thanks to Blizz. I will leave the footage running so please keep your eyes on the monkey speed add-on which will show you the speed increase with each item being equipped. These items is where most your speed is coming from and all follow the same principles and rules when deciding what items to use and improve. And again this method has become more simple thanks to Blizzard looking after us farmers for a change. I will show the items I am currently using in a moment. What you want to be doing is obtaining items that of course have speed on them, but also have our secondary stat which is crit. So the best items to look for will be items with both speed and crit on them which then you can improve in two ways further improving your speed. Blizzard started adding speed to gear back in Shadowlands to help players mainly with movement issues in raids and dungeons, and adding speed to gear was their hot fix. Little did they know at the time that this would also benefit farmers with a new speed set, replacing the very old but yet very powerful level 60 set from way back when. And ever since Shadowlands Blizzard has continued to use speed to help players with movement in raid and dungeons, but also giving farmers another new speed set back in 10.5 with the sunless items. But now I am not sure if this was planned by Blizzard, or not as I cannot find a single blue post on this nor do I know if this will be nerfed in the future. But with this new and improved 10.2 speed set, once optimized and maxed out. This set has the potential to hit that movement speed cap of 250%, and is a personal goal of mine to see if I can hit that cap. So with all gear equipped I now have a current movement speed of 235.9% unbuffed, and I will admit that my set is not yet fully optimized and still needs improving which I explain shortly. Ow and I forgot to mention this very important detail regarding this new and improved level 70 speed set, and that would be the price, this is how much gold I spent just on the gear. This is not including improving them, but the total cost for the items I am currently using is zero gold, I have spent absolutely nothing obtain these items. 
everything was gained from doing the main quest line to dailies and random world drops within the Emerald Dream. Remembering the ideal stats you want on gear is speed and crit, and as you can see by my cloak, this is one of the items I still need to replace. But finding items with both speed and crit needs a lot of luck or gold, if you find one on the auction house and prepare to pay that amount. Despite my cloak not having any crit on it, it's still free and usable until I am able to replace it with something better, but using the enchant does help also. Now my wrists are a good example of what to look for on items for a speed set, as it has both speed and crit coupled with the devotion of speed enchant giving us an extra 200 speed at rank 3. But there is one other way you could possibly further improve some items and that would be with sockets. My belt is almost perfect having speed crit with a little mastery to help push stats slightly but it also came with a socket, allowing me to further improve my secondary stat again which is crit. Only way this item could be better, and that would be if the quality was epic, but I am for sure not moaning with this belt, would you? My hands are the same as my cloak, usable for now, but I want to change for speed and crit when I can get them. My legs have the stats I am looking for but of course I ran out of flight stones needed to upgrade my items and I really need to go farm more. The good thing when upgrading every time you raise the item level of a piece of gear that has speed on it you are also further improving that stat. So always max your item levels out on your speed sets. Currently still as you may have seen in the demo, my basic pair of fell leather boots with the minor speed increase are still too good to give up, plus the boots I found are cloth. And despite me enchanting them with the plane's runner enchant they are just not good enough. Usable maybe when max so is just another item I still need to improve on so I can test more. It's exactly the same process for my trinkets and rings. Improving item levels and making sure they have both crit and speed on them and any enchants that can improve your secondary stats. Now honestly I swear to the almighty high priestess of the RNG loot gods that Blizzard intentionally added this small weird, but yet very fitting easter egg for farmers using speed sets. What do you think, let me know in the comments, would be cool to hear your thoughts on this one. So currently this is my speed set I use every day, and apart from some enchants costing around 8k in total, every single item I got for free just doing my random stuff in the Emerald Dream and will be upgrade as the first possible chance, but with what I already have and what I can still upgrade, that 250% movement speed is looking very likely. I would like to obtain and upgrade my weapon also in the same manner, again this dropped first so it's what I am using, but I am fully aware of the better option as you see on screen. And currently my onyx ring still needs upgrading before it becomes effective. So with all that said, what are your thoughts, not on my gear I have shown you as it's not optimized yet, but do you think 250% movement speed is possible, I shall leave that one with you. So that is the updated 10.2 level 70 speed set done. I do hope you found this helpful and thank you for taking the time to watch, it is highly appreciated you have no idea. Please do not forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons and come join the, the amazing community. But for now sadly I am off to farm some more, so until the next time people, as always. Stay warm stay safe.